It's a space transporter. The destination has been set to... Ark? Wasn't that space colony shut down over 50 years ago? What's he doing up there anyway? Doesn't matter. It's my mission to find out what he's up to. Alright, turns out it was Eggman. What's up guys, it's Daz here. So this is the space colony arc. I have to locate the central control room that Shadow mentioned before he left. But you don't really care. This is... Possibly one of my favorite Eggman levels. It's creepy. It's dark. And the music is different to the one I've actually got downloaded. Damn it! I really love how bassy the one on the soundtrack is. It's like, I don't know. It's really good. It's really dramatic. It's very, like, ominous. It just makes me feel really cool. Because it's like, also, Eggman has gone into space in the loneliest place in the world. He's gone to a dark, abandoned colony. No one is anywhere close to near him. He is entirely alone, humanoid at least, in this, on the moon. He is so... Horribly alone. If he was to die here, no one would know. I mean, I guess Rouge is secretly chasing after him, but hey, you didn't hear it from us. Like, he, the bravery it takes to go to such a, a dark, scary place. Like, I, I, I don't know. Um, I would have sworn these go up. But there we go, that one does. The other one doesn't. Maybe it just wasn't working on me. I don't know, I just love it. Like, look at this. Dark, ominous. If you listen to the soundtrack as well, it's like, oh gosh, this is scary. Now, this is a looping square, I do believe. I mean, it's, I say looping, it's just a square. So, don't get lost. What you do want to do, though, is, I mean, do you feed all the enemies for extra bonuses? Sure. But mostly, you want to go up to the higher level, which I actually can't find the stairway to. You, you do it with crates. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. And this will give us the jet engine, allowing us to hover, just like Tails does in the past. And now we can get around here. I'm actually curious to see what's around on the other four sides. Any secrets? Yes. I completely missed it, but that was totally a secret. Can I turn the camera? Nope. Do it like this. Oh, it was ten, ten rings. Chowky? No Chowky. Okay. And to the other side of the square. Oh, good. I did do dodge Omo Chow. And lovely. Ooh, there's the Chowky. Hard to miss, huh? They really do give it to you sometimes. Bam! It's nice though how the lights light up as you get more enemies defeated or whatever, like as you do certain tasks, but I like it dark. In a weird twisted way. And we're dead. How's that for dark? He dies and no one ever finds out. I guess these guys are supposed to be like the eyes. They're like security bots that are just like webcams, basically. Well, not webcams. But I can definitely find a better word for it. But you know what I mean? Maybe they're just CCTV. Is that why they don't attack? Possibly? I don't know. Now, just like Tails, uh, Eggman can do the same glitch where if you press it twice really quick, you go extra high. It's a nice little thing if you want to know it. Uh, sure. The empty child containers. Perfect. Ooh, I'll take the health. The healthy loop. Right, give me height and enough that I can actually get to where I need to be, huh? Lovely. Uh, Chow key. No, this actually looks like the same level that, uh, well, I mean, it, it's the same asset, so it doesn't make sense. It does look very Tails and Sonic-esque. Like, the moment I turned around was like the moment where I was looking for an upgrade in Sonic earlier. Oh, well. Thank you. Always a switch hidden in these kind of places. Do keep an eye out on extra crates, because they may have your secret switch to get you further. Huh, these bridges don't have dynamite traps like Tails' did. Maybe uh, Eggman was putting them in place. Maybe Eggman put them here to throw off Tails. You never know. Maybe it's my own little my own little head cannon, my own little fan theory. Oh, hello. Bonus time. Thank you. Ha 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 ha. Tight. Is there anything behind us? There was, but I'm sure it's not relevant now. Damn it, I had a feeling that was going to happen, but I thought I could shoot the bullet at the time. Oh well. Hello, you guys. You can get a lot of bonuses out of your items. And you too. Nope. Alright, that's cool enough. Time for proper bonus time. Now it's selective legs 
aim around. Literally, it's just here to give you combos, because, like, these guys aren't... Well, I guess they do attack, but they're not very good at it, are they? Nice. And you. You, 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 you. Beautiful. And again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just before it goes blue. Perfect. There's Big the Cat doing his own little lazy fishing thing. He's never... Is he fishing there or is he just sitting down? I'm not sure if he ever fishes, actually, in this game. Oh, well. I believe it was put in because the director still really liked Big the Cat, so it was just a little easter egg to sort of get back at the gamers, I guess, because of how much they hated him in the first game. But I don't know. Either way, they did remove him in future ports, like the GameCube version certainly doesn't have him. I think just Sonic Adventure 2 Battle doesn't have him. I don't know. Uh, we're dead if we stay here. You can hear that, that rumbling sound, that's them use the, the big guys with all the um, items shooting all at once. Oh, hello! I don't actually know what hit me that time, and this time I need to fight the camera. I need to go back, but it won't let me. Because we need the rocket. There we go. Please? Thank you. Uh, are you a... Oh, you're just... Okay. I thought it might also be a chow key here, but nope. No such luck. Also, slightly don't trust that uh, that platform for a minute there, hence why I was kind of dodging around it, but I still touched it anyway, because I'm not good. And here's the gold ring. Ooh, hello. You can hear it whirring at you. And I can't hear that guy. Yosh! Yosh! Wasn't so difficult. <laughs> I guess it wasn't. I still can't remember what his voice reminds me of. Maybe Palpatine, that might have been it. I've been waiting for you, Doctor. Now, I will show the glorious achievement of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind. Not many people know that the Ark contained a top secret research facility where weapons of mass destruction were being created. This is one of them, a weapon capable of destroying an entire planet, codenamed the Eclipse Cannon. Destroying an entire planet? Was this my grandfather's legacy? But. It's been deactivated for some time now. To reactivate it, large amounts of energy are necessary. Oh, so that's why we needed the Chaos Emerald. Exactly. To reactivate the machine, we need the seven Chaos Emeralds. Once you have that, then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. And then, the world could be yours. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I like the way you think, Shadow. I will get the Chaos Emeralds. The machine to dominate the world and build a legacy of my own. Do you really think own. it will be that easy? I've got a great idea. How about making a deal? A deal? When you grab that huge emerald, you said something about a reaction. A reaction that it may have with the master emerald. Now, if you could just let me borrow that radar, I may be able to help you. What do you if think? I do. What's in it for me? I have an idea where the other Chaos Emeralds may be. I may not look like it, but do you know that I am a treasure hunter that specializes in all kinds of jewels? Very well. Okay then, it's a deal. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Rouge the Bat, but you can call me Rouge. Having to come back isn't my idea of a vacation. How can you be sure your intelligence reports are correct? Why would the Chaos Emeralds be here on the island? Are you absolutely sure? Well, 
Believe what you want to believe. <laughs> very well, very well. Let's discuss how we are going to do this. I will go in first and distract the military troops, allowing you to sneak in the base without being detected. Then, Shadow will enter the armory, where he will set the timer on these dynamite packs. Once that is in place, we will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has a chance to know what hit them. Meanwhile, you'll have to sneak into the cargo area and grab the paint sample. That's a challenge for such a worthy treasure hunter as yourself, isn't it, duck girl? We only have 30 minutes to pull this mission off, and we only get one try, so don't fail me. Alrighty then, into weapons bed. My least favorite Rouge fight or battle. At least, oh no, never mind, I got my colors wrong. Apparently gray looks purple to me. Ignore that, in that case, it's one of my favorite Eggman levels. I'll talk about Rouge, I guess, next episode. Also, we're getting a lot of Eggman this time. What I love about it is the combos you can get. Look at this, 24, I could have easily gotten more, but oh well, look at that. Just, what does he say afterwards? What's the score he says? Perfect. And jamming, I love it. Um, I never actually go into these things. Oh, I apparently don't go anywhere, because I... Oh, I think I usually get this, at least. I remember getting the the Volkswagen or whatever the thing was called. This now allows us to actually break steel beam, or containers even. And I guess, yeah, it was uh, mandatory anyway, so I couldn't not miss it. Not miss it? You know what I mean. Right, let's make our way forwards. Now we're, uh, we're mimicking Metal Harbor with Sonic. Not quite the same. Hey, I guess they are rivals. It kind of makes sense, just... Not identical rivals. Oh, thank you. Get through all of this. There we go. Hello, cheetah. What? What is a cheetah doing here? How are these animals here, and why are they so small? There's probably like some crazy theory about how the animals are so small in this world. Like, why is Sonic so big as a hedgehog, and everything else is so small? I mean, sure, he was like in the comics. He was like some sort of experiment that went wrong. But even still, oh my child, could you not be in the way, please? Thank you. I mean, I, I know I'm saying thank you when you're long gone, but still, thank you. I also really like how Eggman actually has to visibly hold on to the thing. He's pretty strong if he can hold up his own weight and the mech as well. Like, that's pretty intense, to be fair. And, I mean, I guess he's not holding it for long, but still, it's it's something I quite enjoy seeing. Right, what's going on now? we got some jets to destroy because they make way too much noise in the in Radical Highway, at least. Uh, there's all of these that I kind of don't want to go for because it's just effort. I can't get out of them. That would be nice if I could. Thank you. You're actually lethal. Thank you. Anything else for me? Not really. All right, get out of here, fighter jet. One bullet is all it takes to take you down. Gosh, what a military. Why did my, my hover didn't activate? That's a shame. Let's try that again, shall we? Oh, we're way back here. All right, I'll meet you back in a minute when we're not back here. And we're back. Surprisingly, well, not surprisingly, a hell of a lot faster. Is what I was trying to say mostly there. Um, can I, like, shoot backwards and get that, that balloon? No. Oh, well. It's not an issue. I'm not that fussed about it at all. Now we're getting to the slightly weird crates in that they're sort of glitching us on the side. Alrighty. Never mind. Oh, we're back here again. Cool. It's like, it's alternating, so it's kind of confusing to me, like, how you get over it a little bit. I mean, you just gotta, I guess, get better aim on it and get through. I don't know. I, it's something. It's an extra little trial that's throws me off a little bit. All right, let's get through these. I was expecting a big guy to show up, but he never did. Oh, and that's why we got all those rings. Okay. Get out of here, you three. I really hate CCTV cameras as well. I guess that makes sense. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of guns going on. Get out of here. Thank you. And can I get over? Wow, wow, that crate was the single greatest weapon the gun has. Gun is the name of the military, by the way, if you didn't know. There we go. Now that the crate's broken, I can actually get through, huh? Oh, dear. All right. Hey, buddy, I heard you earlier. Goodbye. And you guys are waiting for me. I can still see you, too. These guys are actually kind of annoying, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm not usually annoyed by the enemies in Eggman's levels, but this time they're, they're rustling my jimmies. They're, uh, they're upsetting me a little bit. All right. Uh, and... Wow, we're getting some real speed out of Eggman. I'm liking it. Oh, come on. All right, and... I'm definitely up, uh, abusing the uh, hovering glitch to get extra height because I really feel it needs it. They, they, they kind of don't... Uh, I mean, maybe it's not down to the wire, but it feels a bit to me. Like, I feel 
that I, I'm doing it wrong if I'm not doing it at full height. I don't, I don't feel comfortable with just doing the actual top height that's intended of us. And the goal is here. And the gates, are, or the crates, are still the biggest issue I have. There we go. And I never got a chow key. Wah, wow. That was too close. Okay, everyone ready? Shadow, Rouge, on with the show! Oh, Sonic! I thought I'd never see you again! I'm so glad you made it! You're not Sonic! Who are you? I'm the one who should be asking that. Dr. Eggman! Ah! Ah, save me your tiny little peckable. Leave it to me! I'll take care of her! You too! Go! Don't ask how Amy got onto this island, it's never explained. You won't get away with this. But now it's time to defeat the weak little fox, as he says in his second uh, battle. Now, uh, there's probably a, a, a technique, I just, I just go a bit too offensive and then it works. Like, yep. It was pretty close though. Fox boy. And now to Rouge. The most disliked level I have as a kid. I'm in position, Doctor. But we'll get into it a bit more. Come on. There's no more time to waste. Set the timer for 15 minutes. Let's go, Rouge. Five minutes should be plenty. Here I go. Why did you have to say that, Rouge? Why? Oh well, anyway, we're gonna deal with this level next time. For now, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.